Hello there, this is Dave Allen from No Stylus and Maxwell Equations, and today we're having a look at iBooks again. And let's start by looking at this in the books application, the iBooks application on the iPad. And we can see we've got a title there which says Unknown Title and Unknown Artist. Now, this is something I'm working on iBooks Author, and obviously I've done something wrong there or forgotten something. So here we are in iBooks Author, and let's see if we can remedy the problem we had in iBooks on the iPad. Well, we couldn't see the author and the title. So, what we need to do here is we need to put in the author name. So, I put the name in there, we can put in the title of the uh, thing as well. We can put keywords in there as well if we want to. Let's put in there Wizard Gold. Now, what I was thinking is that the name Wizard Gold would be able to be found in there when I was doing some searching on the iBooks application on the iPad. But as I've found so far, that doesn't seem to be the case. It seems that when you're doing this comments and the keywords in here, it helps the book be found in the Spotlight application on the Mac. Or it could be the possibility that when the book is properly imported into the iPad and not just in there as a proofreading exercise, then maybe it can be found there and I'll have to give that a bit of a test. OK, so I made a few changes on there and let's go back into this here now by clicking on Preview. I've got the application open on the iPad, loading the preview for me. I'm going straight into the application there, wait for it to finish loading. And if I tap on it now, we'll get the library up there. So now when we're looking at this here, we can see that we've got the title of the book in there and we've got the name of the author. It didn't really matter so much when we was looking at it in this format here because we can see that we've got the title of the book there in front and we've got the name of the author, although it's a bit on the small side, you can't see it very well, but it's there. And once we go into it, it doesn't make any difference anyway because it's uh, all there in front of us and everything's working okay. It's just that when it's in the library in iBooks, we want to be able to see the author and the title of the book so that it can be found amongst all the other books on the library. So there you go, something else to think about when you're doing your work setting up your book in iBooks Author. Bye bye now, talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos, here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon, bye bye now.